Hi class and welcome to today's lesson on 4-3. Uh, we're going to learn some more of the triangle congruence um, methods. Right, We have kind of two shortcuts now. Um, today's objective, uh, to prove triangles are congruent using ASA and angle, angle side, AAS. So right, ASA is angle side angle and then AAS is angle angle side. Uh, key thing to notice, there is no angle side side. That's not enough information right there to prove triangles are congruent. So it has to be two angles and a side, whether the side is in the middle or on the outside of those two angles. So starting with our first one, starting with our first one here, a new postulate theorem that proved triangles congruent, right? So our first one is if two angles and the included side, right? Key thing is that it's the included side. Of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another, then the triangles are congruent by the angle side angle postulate. Notice this picture down here where we have angle A is congruent to angle D, side AB is congruent to side DE, and then angle B is congruent to angle E. So now we have angle, side, angle. That right there is enough information to say, hey, these two triangles, right, triangle ABC and triangle DEF are congruent. So I'm looking at these ones here. First question is, are the triangles congruent by angle, side, angle? So are these triangles congruent by angle, side, angle? So we check this first one, we're looking at RST and WVU. Notice angle R is congruent to angle W. Side RS is congruent to side WV. And then we have two right angles, which we know are congruent to one another. So notice angle, side, angle. It has to be that included side, in between the two sides. So yes, these two are. Now if we look down at the bottom here, right now we have triangle ABC and DEF. We look and we have angle A, angle D. Then if we notice angle C and angle F. Notice in between those two angles, we do not know if AC is congruent to DF. And so that right away, since the included side is not the same, are they congruent by angle, side, angle? No, they are not. But lucky for us is there is a new um, shortcut here called angle, angle, side. Right, if we look here, C to F, so C to F, A to D, and then notice this side, AB is congruent to DE. That gets us to our next theorem. Right, theorem 4.2 is saying if two angles and a non-included side of the triangle are congruent to two angles and the corresponding non-included side of another, the triangles are congruent. So again, right, angle A, angle R, angle B, angle S. Oh, there should have been a little mark here, sorry about that. Right. Side BC and side ST, right? Those two are congruent to each other. So we could then say triangle ABC and making sure we put these in the correct order, right? A corresponds with R, B corresponds with S, and then C corresponds with T. So those two triangles are congruent by angle Angle side. angle side. So looking at these, we have some different options here. Right, we have some different options. We either have side angle side now, which we learned yesterday, side side side, which is also from yesterday, and now our two new ones, angle side angle and angle angle side. So looking at the red ones here, so we'll call this problem one. Right, these two triangles, notice we have angle in the bottom right corner. Then our next piece is a right angle in the bottom left corner. 
and then we have a side. And notice it is not included in between the two, so this would be congruent by angle, angle, side. Okay, now looking at the purple one down here, bottom left, we'll call this number two. When we look here, we have a side. We then have this right angle and another side. The key thing to look at is, is that angle included, right? This is some review from yesterday using some of our prior knowledge here. That's right, our angle is included our angle is included between our two congruent sides, so this is side, angle, side. And then over here, right, we have the blue triangles, we'll call this number three. Notice we have two sets of congruent angles. Right, these triangles are kind of close together, they're flipped from one another, so we have one arc and two arc angles. So we have two sets of congruent angles, but from our picture, right, we're not given any tick marks to say, hey, certain sides are congruent. But we have to really look at this picture and think about, well, do they share anything? All right, this is gonna be a common thing that we're gonna notice in some of our problems. Sometimes they share a side, or maybe they have vertical angles, things like that, things we have to look for. Right, in this case, they share sides, right? That side's gonna be congruent to itself, and if we look, now we have angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. Because that side is included between our two angles. So last step for today, we're gonna to work through a proof here together. Here. So looking at our proof, it says given that angle A is congruent to angle D, congruent symbols here, that angle B is congruent to angle E, and that side AC is congruent to side DF. That's so right, what that's saying, angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle B, sorry, smart board's off a little bit. Oh. Angle B and E are congruent, and also AC is congruent to DF. All right, we'll redraw the pictures down here, actually. A, B, C. So now we have this, right? Angle A and angle D, angle E and angle B, and then side um, AC and DF. So now that we have this picture, we start with, right, what's our reasoning? Why do we know this, right? Hopefully we know this reason should be that it's given to us, right? Given to us. Uh, notice with our proof real quick, we are trying to prove angle, angle, side, so we're not gonna use that to help us out here. So we can't use angle, angle, side. What we can do is look, okay, we have two angles. We know two angles of two corresponding triangles are the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out, okay, if these two angles are the same, if two angles of two triangles are congruent, well then the third one is gonna to have to be congruent. So now we can say angle C is congruent to angle F by the third angle, here I'm sorry to cram it in there. Right, angle C is congruent to angle F by the third angle theorem. And now we're looking at our triangle, right? We have a couple ways to do this. Um, we're not trying to use angle, angle, side, so we're going to use another new one that we learned. Right? These two triangles are congruent by the fact that we have angle, side, 